In the recent interview of Sam Altman with Axions, Sam Altman provides many important details about GPT-5, such as its capabilities and concerns. I will cover all the major and important points of this interview and present them to you in a very precise and short manner. If you want to watch the full podcast, I will provide the video link in the description for your convenience. So, the first thing which Sam Altman was addressed out is, GPT-5 is a massive neural network model trained on a dataset of text and code that is 10 times larger than the dataset used to train GPT-3. And GPT-5 will be able to do a lot, lot more than the existing models. What can we expect AI to do this year that it couldn't do last year? There are all these things that we can happen, and I'd love to talk about sort of all the specifics, but the, the general principle, I think the thing that matters most is just that it gets smarter. So GPT-2 couldn't do very much. GPT-3 could do more. GPT-4 could do a lot more. GPT-5 will be able to do a lot, lot more. This allows GPT-5 to generate even more realistic and creative text, translate languages more accurately, and write different kinds of creative content. It can also answer your questions in an informative way, even if they are open-ended, challenging, or strange. He also gives some hints about the general intelligence. And, and the thing that, or whatever we call it, and the thing that matters most is not that it can, you know, have this new modality or it can solve this new problem. It is the generalized intelligence keeps increasing. And we find new ways to put that into a product. We find new ways to use it. But that's, that, that is the high order bit. I think that dominates everything else in the importance is that the overall capability of the model. But what about the ultimate goal of artificial general intelligence, AGI? Altman believes that this is what truly matters, and that GPT-5 is a big step in that direction. He acknowledges the potential risks of AGI, but ultimately seems optimistic about its potential to benefit humanity. Altman says AI advances will help vastly accelerate the rate of scientific discovery. The, the single thing that I think is most important to me about what AI will do for us is help vastly accelerate the rate of scientific discovery. Um, make make new scientific discoveries uh, increasingly autonomously. I don't think that's a this year thing, but I think when that happens, it's a it's a huge deal. He doesn't expect that to happen in 2024, but when it happens, it's a big big deal. If this turns out to be true, I think we will see more rapid transformation of various technologies in the future than we see today. This will help to use GPT-5 in various application domains like. It can be used in education, healthcare, customer service, and many other industries. For example, it can be used to create personalized learning experiences for students, to provide medical diagnosis and treatment recommendations, or to provide customer support. Altman admitted he's nervous about AI's impact on elections around the world this year, but he was defensive about OpenAI's investments in that area. With so many elections around the world this year, including, of course, the US presidential election, how confident are you that OpenAI's technology won't be used by either campaigns or outside actors to influence the election? My, my expectation, although it may be wrong, is that this time around, there's going to be new challenges. And we've got to really be prepared in addressing those. And we don't yet know what all of them are. We have some ideas, as you mentioned. We published a lot of stuff yesterday. But we really just want to have a very tight feedback loop careful monitoring, be willing to like make changes quickly if we notice anything, and work with the broad ecosystem of partners uh, to do the best that we can. But I'm nervous about this, and I think it's good that we're nervous about this. Then, Sam Altman addressed the potential risk of large language models. Sam Altman says, We are aware of the potential risks of GPT-5, and we are taking steps to mitigate those risks. We are working on developing safety measures to prevent GPT-5 from being used to generate harmful content. We are also committed to working with policymakers to ensure that GPT-5 is used in a responsible and ethical way. Another key point was Altman's talk about a memory update for Chad GPT. This suggests that GPT-5 will be able to learn and adapt over time, becoming more personalized to each user's interactions. This could have major implications for how we interact with AI in the future, potentially blurring the lines between human and machine. If you found this content insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.
Stay tuned for future discussions on cutting-edge advancements. See you in the next video.